Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Recently I've bench tested the Emacs Echo 2306, 2400kV and 1700kV motors and today in this video I'm going to head outdoors and test them out. As you can see the Emacs Echo motors are already mounted on my HRC Batman 220. The version that I'm going to test is the 2400kV version. The propellers are the Gemfen 5055 propellers and the batteries that I'm going to test this quadcopter with are the CNHL 1300 mAh 4S type of batteries. Since I've already performed the test, I'm going to keep it simple and tell you that at the moment of shooting this video, these are the best motors that you can get for the price of $12. The performance is great and they are also very efficient. I could get close to 5 minutes of flight time without the run come tree camera and about 4 minutes when it was mounted on top of the quadcopter. Of course it also depends on how you fly a quadcopter and I can estimate that if you're not going to push the throttle you can get about 6 minutes of flight time without an action camera on top of your quadcopter. You can also extend the flight time by using less aggressive propellers and you can also of course use a bigger LiPo battery. So if you are in the market for a new set of efficient and budget friendly motors you should definitely consider the Emax Echo motors. Just keep in mind that these motors are not going to shoot your quadcopter to the sky like the T-Motor F80 motors for example and I recommend to check my thrust test results of these motors in this video over here. Now I'm going to show you the flight footage so I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always if you have any questions about these motors feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.